Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. There is serious panic in William Ruto's team. Some very close associates of William Ruto, the likes of senior counselor Menasir Abdullahi, Moses Kuria, are already pointing accusing fingers at some Supreme Court judges. So it appears that Raila's possible move to the Supreme Court is already causing jitters in William Ruto's camp. A confirmation that William Ruto never won this year's election fairly. William Ruto lost this election, but because of some fraudulent activities within IEBC, William Ruto was declared the winner. And that's why I maintain and I repeat that Raila's best option is to move to the Supreme Court of Kenya. Let it start and end there. If the Supreme Court finds that William Ruto won the election fairly, we will all support William Ruto. What I'm against personally is to support a candidate I personally believe never won the election. So in this video, I want us to dig deep to see exactly the kind of panic in William Ruto's team. In case you are watching us for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. About two days ago, Moses Kuria, taking to his social media accounts, had this to say. Dear Martha Koome, your boss is the constitution, not Martha Karua. That's Moses Kuria. Moses Kuria from, from that post is just trying to insinuate that Martha Karua might be influencing Martha Koome. Moses Kuria is saying Martha Koome maybe is being compromised. And then some few minutes ago, Senior Counsel Amenasir Abdullahi had this to say. A certain judge was overheard yesterday at an LPGA accredited, accredited golf course resort telling Ravelas at birth that he, she, was summoned to Nairobi by the head of the deep state to take care of business. That's senior counsel. He is also just insinuating that maybe these Supreme Court judges are being compromised. So already, they are on a mission of discrediting some Supreme Court judges. And if you ask me why they are doing this, already they are seeing chances are, chances are very high that should Raila proceed to the Supreme Court of Kenya, then William Ruto's win is not guaranteed. The Supreme Court can nullify William Ruto's win. And that is so because if you look at what happened, it's coming out clearly there, were, there was a lot of serious anomalies with the, form, with the forms, or rather with the Form 34As. We have seen in some cases where numbers were inflated, eh? numbers were inflated in favor of William Ruto. So before even we dig deeper, let's have a look at a tweet by an individual here called Walie. Walie is also bring a very interesting discussion. Yes, Mohamed Welie, MBS. When you cross the 50 plus one mark with just 69K votes and they do a forensic audit of your forms with over 7 million votes, you should be very, very worried. Just three or four invalid 34Bs and boom, Squeaky boom time. It will be about numbers, but not 0.01%. To Kutane, Supreme Court of Kenya. Yes. Well, he is also just making it very clear that William Ruto passed 50 plus one, one vote by just about 69,000 votes. 
and already from what we saw, IBC itself, Wafula Chebukati, did confirm that there is a constituency that William Ruto's votes were inflated by about 10,000 votes. So if you, if you can do an audit in only about 10 constituencies, I know most likely if the trend is to continue, we are talking of well over 100,000 votes. Because already just one constituency was identified and William Ruto, Ruto, Ruto's results were found to, be, to have been inflated by 10,000 votes. So just do an audit in just about 10 constituencies out of the 290 constituencies. We'll find over 290, over 100,000 votes. So that means William Ruto shall have not passed 50 plus 1 percent. And if you look at Wafuna Chibukati's statement yesterday, he was uh, trying to insinuate that the four commissioners wanted to push for a runoff. That's what Wafula Chibukati said yesterday. And it has now been confirmed that this is something that is not debatable. Wafula Chibukati and William Samoy Ruto, they are reading from the same page. Chibukati is just speaking William Ruto's language. So Chebukati's sentiments yesterday can equally mean that himself, Chebukati, forced William Ruto to win the election. Ruto never attained 50% plus one vote. And that's why I maintain and I believe the best option is for Ayla Odinga to move to the Supreme Court. Because personally, I've got a lot of some... <laughs> incriminating evidence here that I won't be able to share with you here. Evidences in so many constituencies clearly indicating the kind of fraud that went on with this year's election. That's why I still maintain the best option is the Supreme Court of Kenya. And again, if you look at the way William Ruto's team has been behaving, I'm seeing a William Ruto who is actually also panicking. Because I'm seeing William Ruto trying very hard <laughs> to mobilize support among the elected leaders. <laughs> and this is why I also still maintain that some of these politicians, Kenyans do elect. Some of these elected leaders, they don't care about the people. All they're interested in is their personal benefit. That's what, exactly what I've seen in the past two days. Mm. A leader elected in one party, the following day is crossing over. Those are just confirmations that these are leaders who are not interested eh, in the well-being of the people. They are just looking at their own selfish interests. That's what I've seen, ladies and gentlemen. And also, I saw Raila today meeting some delegation from the United States of America. And the same delegation, I believe, also met William Ruto and even the president. I tend to believe, as you know, from some also <laughs> information we are gathering, there might be some de deliberate attempts to bring these leaders together. But it appears Raila's main aim, Raila wants justice. He wants the rightful winner <laughs> to be known. So I personally, for me, I see it again. I'm not of an opinion that a settlement is reached between Raila and William Ruto. If William Ruto won fairly, let him form that government. If he never won fairly, let the person who won <laughs> actually form government. Mm. But any form of a settlement, in my honest opinion, is not good at this moment in time. And just as I've been saying, I tend to believe it's, it's high time Kenyans have a discussion. Eh? Should we now change our constitution to provide for a, a rotational kind of a presidency? Because if things continue the way they are going, then it's almost clear and certain 
that power will just be rotating between Mount Kenya and the Kalenjin communities. But as of now, as I conclude, the best option left is for Raila Odinga to move to the Supreme Court of Kenya. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. In case you are watching us here for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humble, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. To any other person, that's the kind of analysis we do here. We don't beat about the bush. We go straight unto the point. We call it as it is, without fear or favor. In case you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. To those who are watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. And if possible again, subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you, God bless Kenya.